Welcome back to another Cottage Cuts YouTube tutorial and giveaway featuring the Sweet Treats release available now over in the Scrap and Cottage. I will have the products that I used linked in the description box below. Here's a look at the Build an Ice Cream die. I did cut several of these out using Canson watercolor paper, so I have tons of die cuts for future projects. I'm going to begin with my Tombow watercolor markers. I thought that it would give this rainbow card a really nice soft look if I used my watercolors. And I wanted to show you just how quick and easy it is to watercolor with these markers. I have Canson XL watercolor paper as I mentioned before. The first thing I do is lay down the color I go around the edges where I really want the darkest areas to be and then I add a second color if I like and then I will use a watercolor brush. I dip it in the water. This one isn't filled with watercolor, but I do dip it in the water. I have a towel to the side, which you can't see, but I do kind of dot it off so that I don't have dripping water from the brush. And then I go over my image. I make sure to start on the outside and I'm drawing that color around into the inside of the ice cream, which is where my highlight will be. You can see that I'm adding a little bit of detail to the cones, so I'm bringing the watercolor up so that I have a little bit of a curve on that ice cream cone, kind of giving it a look of a little bit of dripping from the cone. And again, I just dip my brush in water. I go around the edges, making sure that the darkest portion is on the outside and the lightest portion, the highlight is on the inside. I lost a little bit of color. I didn't lay enough of it down on this pink one. So I went ahead and I added just a little bit more to that ice cream scoop. I'm gonna start building my cones and I wanted to just show you this quickly. So you can see that obviously I'm adding the scoop of ice cream to the cone, but the thing that I wanted to really highlight right here is that I'm going to use wet glue so that I have a little bit of wiggle room and I'm going to line these up with each other. So I wanna make sure that my cones are all the same height because I am going to repeat a pattern with these cones on my card. So this is a great way to do that. Just use a little bit of wet adhesive and then align it with one of the other ice cream cones, making sure that all of your cones are aligned evenly. There are some uh, accent pieces that you can add to this. There are strawberries and here I'm using the cherries. I'm showing you how quick and easy. I'm not really paying much attention to highlights and lowlights here. I'm just adding that green to the stems using the same watercolor brush and then I clean off my brush and then I'm going to do the same thing with the cherries. This time I will add the color just around the outside and then I'll use my brush as I did with those ice cream scoops all the way around. This went together really quick and easy. I do have to say that I didn't use my Cricut mat for this project and I really wish I would have. As you can see, they're small pieces. It wasn't hard to watercolor, but because they're small pieces, they're moving around on my desk. So that Cricut mat really does help when you're creating with these die cuts. I'm gonna show you how this goes together so quick and easy. I'm using my tweezers to just poke a hole where the die cut has already added a slit so I need to open that up just a little bit to add my cherry stem and then I do the exact same thing to my ice cream cones. I've already added foam adhesive to the back of each of the cones. I wanted to make sure that I had a little bit of dimension on this card and so each of those cones do have some dimensional tape on the back side. I'm using my Distress inks and I'm going to apologize because I'll be a little bit off camera here. I started with picked raspberry, I added mustard seed, um, wilted violet, mowed lawn, carved pumpkin, and then salty ocean. I spritzed my watercolor panel, so this ha is Canson watercolor paper, with water, and then I spritzed my inks and I dipped my 
watercolor paper into those wet inks. I wanted a little bit more intensity. This was a great way for me to just get placement of color. So I'm going in with those same colors over the watercolored area and I'm using my blending brush and this is going to add the vibrant intensity that I really wanted on this card panel. I love the way that this card turned out. I think that the vibrant colors are so perfect for summertime with summer being just around the corner it is ice cream season for me officially. I hope that it's warm where you are and you're starting to enjoy the joys of sunny days and time outside. I did want to mention that this is a giveaway, so I am giving away this ice cream die. In order to enter that giveaway, you do need to be a subscriber to the Cottage Cuts YouTube channel. Make sure that you like the video and leave me a comment. Let me know what is your favorite flavor of ice cream. I would absolutely love to know. The winner from my last giveaway of the candy cart is Elizabeth Stewart. So congratulations, Elizabeth Stewart. I will have Mary Marsh's information linked in the description box below. All you need to do is send her an email and she will send you out your die congratulations I'm adding some water because I did use distress ink and I want to get a little bit of that um, splotchy look on my panel so I added water to the palm of my hands and then of course I clapped over the top of it so that I could get that reaction I then die cut my panel down to four by five and a quarter inches I have a top folding card base that is black that is cut to four and a quarter by five and a half inches which is an A2 card size. I'm going to show you how I just align these ice cream cones. I do it. I eye it. I am not one to pay particular attention to measuring things out. So I will do this as best I can. And I think I did a pretty good job of aligning everything. One of the things that I really like to do is I like to start in the middle because if you get your ice cream cones pretty much in the middle, it's easier to align the left and the right sides. So you'll see that I will fuss once I remove the release tape, I will fuss with my middle ice cream cones for just a few minutes, making sure that I have them aligned straight, making sure that I like the distance between the two cones, top and bottom. And once I get those aligned the way that I like, I'll move on to adding the rest of them to my card. I want to talk about the sentiment because I did do this off camera. I took a scrap piece of paper. I wanted a small sentiment for this card, so I used a stamp for my stash and I um, stamped it onto some white cardstock. Then I added the picked raspberry to the stamped word hello. Once I did that, I wanted to make sure that I had that same pop that I do with the black on this uh, card base. So I am going to, or I did, cut out just a little border that I could adhere the word hello to. And then I'm going to add the foam tape to the back of it and adhere it to my card. And that will complete my card for today. So I want to thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. It really does um, make our hearts happy that you have been supporting this channel. You can find us also on Instagram and I'm also going to link my personal channel in the description box below if you'd like to see more of what I create. Thank you so much for joining me today and until next time I hope you have a fabulous day.